Okay, so good evening. So in the previous class, we started uh, database management system past papers and uh, discussed three years uh, MCQ questions, right? We discussed those multiple choice questions uh, for 2019, 18 and uh, 17, right? So we finished three years. Uh, I started from 2019 because uh, recently the questions are very close to the syllabus they are stuck with the syllabus. So it would be better to, I mean, uh, start something which uh, we are very familiar because if you take the earliest years, 2007, or eight or nine, maybe questions uh, are there, you can answer, right? But uh, since the syllabus is slightly different, so there might be some questions which may uh, not be related to the present syllabus, okay? So that may be the reason why I started from 2019. Even for the second part also, I will, uh, I mean, use the same approach, uh, starting from 2019 and then go backwards. Okay, right. So without further introduction, or without further discussion, let's uh, take the 2016 MCQs. So take your tutes. Okay, so look here. So let's take the 2016. Questions one, two, three are based on the following database tables. Okay, you have taxi table uh, and also rate table, right? There are two tables given. Taxi table has uh, four fields, taxi number, rate type, driver name, driver city. And uh, rate table has rate type, and rate okay so take a look at the first question which of the following is the most suitable field to be selected as the primary key for the taxi table okay so primary key for the taxi table uh, i hope that it's too easy because uh, the other fields are very simple to i mean uh, avoid right so you can understand so here uh, this has taxi detail. Look at the table name. So it is taxi table. So definitely it has taxi details. So, you know, every taxi must be identified by a number, right? So that number must be unique, but rate type can be repeated because one type, look here, if it is car, it can be repeated because there may be so many drivers who can drive the car. So it must be repeated. Even you can see this three W repeated twice, right? Uh, driver name, you know, names always uh, repeated and uh, driver city also repeated. So for first question, this is the answer, taxi number, taxi underscore number, okay? First one, second. First answer, right? For first question, first answer. Second question, which of the following fields is an example for foreign key in the database? Right, so to find out the foreign key, we must identify the primary keys in both table. It is important primary keys should be identified because primary key of one table should be the foreign key of another table. So without identifying the primary key, you cannot identify the foreign key. So in taxi table, taxi number is the primary key we have already identified. So let's identify the primary key in rate table only two fields are available. So you have to pick the right field for primary key. So tell me what could be the primary key here in uh, rate table? Okay, who is it? Kavipirian, uh, Kavipirian. Yes, sir. What's the primary key in rate table? Red types. Red type. Mm. Red, red. Kabilja. Red type. Red type. Krishnavi. Red type. Janaga.
ധ്യാനുക ഓക്കെ ലുക്ക് ഹിയർ this has ray type and ray right so look look at the table the name also uh, ray table so here the rate for every type is displayed for example for car it's 44 rupees for 3w it's 40 sorry 38 for van it's 40 rates are displayed okay your answer is correct ray type is the primary key but what about this rate can i have rate as the primary key is it correct if it is wrong if i select rate as primary key anybody if i say anybody no one i mean mentions right so okay better i use a name uh, bhranavi what about rate can we select or can we have the rate as primary key no sir tell me the reason why guess mm, the rate mm, maybe for uh, any types okay rate cannot be because look here in this table it seems to be unique 44 40 sorry 38 40 but you know there may be even there may be another type sometimes you may have another type that may have 44 rupees have you understood right so this rate can be duplicated even sometimes so now van for van it's 40 so there may be a sudden increment and sometimes van also takes 44 rupees that is possible car has 44 rupees at the same time van also has 44 rupees that is possible right so remember rate cannot be but here it seems to be unique because we have only three data okay so these are two primary keys in taxi table taxi number in rate table rate underscore type but the question is foreign key right so now look here look at this primary key taxi number so let's uh, let's search this taxi number in rate table because you have only two tables so primary key of this taxi table is taxi number now i'm going to search this one or find this one in the second table so look here look at the rate table that rate table doesn't have any uh, taxi number any field in the name of taxi number so it is impossible so now come to the rate table and take the primary key so this is the primary key rate type so now let's see whether this rate type is in taxi table yes it is there look here in taxi table rate type is there is it a primary key no because primary key is taxi number so now the primary key of rate table is rate type but it is not the primary key in taxi table so definitely rate type in taxi table is the foreign key okay so what is the answer rate type in taxi table second answer okay second answer right third one how many fields and records are in the rate table respectively it's too easy how many fields and records in rate table have a look at the rate table you have two fields and three records columns are fields right rate type is one field rate another field so you have two fields every row which has data is record so this is one record here another record here record so two col- two fields three records 2 comma 3 that's the answer 2 comma 3 second answer okay right uh, so these are the three questions in 2016 so let's move to the 2015 okay all right look at the 2015 questions 1 2 3 are based on the following database the tables show data about books available for sale in a bookshop and the book publishers okay so book details are saved in book table and also uh, publisher details are there in publisher table in addition to them you have another table which has the detail about 
uh, book publishing look at the look at this table this has the data about book and also the publishers who publish those books right so three tables so look at the first question directly what is the most suitable data type for the unit price in book table okay so unit price take the book table here it is unit price look here it seems to be number so they seem to be number because uh, you know they have uh, numerical figures but look at the field it is unit price so it is related to money it is related to currency so you can't say it is number it must be currency okay so answer is current currency but when it comes to quantity it is okay it's number right so because these are not uh, money related values so it is okay it is number book name is text right book id also text because books book id has a letter and number so that is text okay so here the question is unit price it is currency so what's the what's the options first answer if you have any any doubt or if you need any clarification you can ask second which of the following is most suitable as the primary key for the book table okay so take the book table right so in book table you have only four fields book id book name quantity unit price you know book name should be repeated so many times we discussed uh, because you know there may be so many books in in a single name right so that is duplicated quantity should be duplicated amount right set so that must be duplicated even price duplicated but in book table book id cannot be repeated because every book has given or is given a number that never be given to another book okay so book underscore id that's a primary key so what is the option first answer question number 3 which of the following field names sorry which of the following field names is an example for a foreign key okay so it since it's the foreign key you don't need to spend time in taking your answers options one by one go and take a find your foreign key first okay so in book table we have already identified the primary key this is book id okay right and let's take the book publisher table now okay i want someone uh who is it service service what's the primary key in book publisher table book id book id uh book id uh one more who is it savarshini book id book id aksaran book id book id darmida darmida book id and publisher id so it's it's composite right yeah okay look uh in book publisher table book id seems to be uh, unique and uh, yes you you decided to find that as primary key but uh, since uh, even though you have data which are unique here but you know sometimes it is repeated because uh, you know one book listen to me one book this is sometimes uh, i mean complex but you can argue a book can be published by more than one publishers you know one book can be written by two authors right it is possible if you take a book there may be two authors for one book similarly when it comes to publish book publish pub, book publishing may that more than one uh, publisher can do that so for example this b001 this book can be published by two publishers if the if that happens you know it must be repeated so now b001 is published by p003 who is it this one cnn cnn 
maybe that same book is published by another one maybe they they publish as as uh, as a uh, i mean co publishers both of them jointly publish that that is possible so it is possible that it is uh, that it has duplication right so d with book id cannot be the primary key publish id as you can see publish id never be primary key here because one publisher can publish many books even you can see p002 repeated twice which means uh, this one bertram publishers publish two book b002 and b so no field has the eligibility for becoming as primary key so now you need to composite that so when you combine these two book id and publish id twice you know the data never be repeated look at the first one after look after combining your first data looks like this b001 p003 this data never be repeated so now i can say that each data is or each record is identified by these two field as a combination right so here it is a composite key even though they are not asked in exam i'm i'm explaining such things because they can be very useful for your exams right so remember here no primary key so let's go to the next i mean table and find the primary key so this is the primary key this is the field table here publish id publish a name publish a phone so it's too easy to find the primary key here because this has only publisher details so definitely publish id has the unique data it must be the primary key it never be repeated but publisher name can be repeated because uh, uh, in a name there may be so many people even phone number cannot be repeated but uh, when you have two fields which have the eligibility for becoming as primary key a better select the most appropriate one so here publish id is the unique one and also publish a phone number also unique one but among among these two field you can select only one primary key you can't say that both of them are primary key both of them may have unique data both of them may have eligibility but only one field can be selected as primary key so here the priority must be given to publish id because Uh, that may be the number which can identify every publisher uniquely you know sometimes publisher may not have any publisher in phone number it is possible right one publisher may not have any any number publisher phone number so in this instance how can you identify that particular publisher it's tough so go with publish id okay so publish id is the primary key in book uh, sorry publisher table book id is the primary key of book table in book publisher you have composite key now the question is foreign key right okay look here this book id in book table is the primary key but the same book id is available in book publisher table so is it the primary key in book publisher table no we already discussed alone book id is not the primary key they are it's a composite key both are involved but alone book id is not the primary key but it is the primary key in book table in book publisher it is not the primary key so we have one foreign key what is it book id in book publisher table okay look here in publisher table publish id is the primary key that same publish id also available in book publisher table but in book publisher table this book uh, this publish id is not the primary key so publish id in book publisher table also foreign key so you have two foreign keys both are in the same table first one is book id in book publisher table second one publish id in book publisher table but since it's the mcq you have to pick the right one what's the answer uh, book id second one book id in book publisher table okay book id in book publisher table this one clear so we have only three questions in 2015 so let's go to the 2014 we can go little i mean quicker than uh, the normal pace because questions are very 
family and they are not actually hard, right? So we can accelerate. Take a look at the first one. The database table contains data about sport items available for us, sorry, available for sale in a shop. Available sports items are cricket bats, tennis balls, volleyballs, net balls, and badminton rackets. Data about one sports item in a table or in the table is a, you have four answers. Okay. So hope you understood the question. I, I, I read it out again. A database table contains data about sport items available for sale in a shop. Available sport items are cricket bats, tennis balls, volleyball, net balls, and badminton rackets. Data about one sport item in the, in the table is what? What's the answer? Okay, I won't, who is it? Kijahini, Kijahini. Right coat. Right coat. Uh, Surabini. Right coat. Right coat. Uh, Shalomia. Record. Record. Uh, okay, the, the answer is record, but I want some, uh, some uh, clarification here because even some of you may have some uh, problems in understanding this question. So I need some further, I mean, further details or further explanation. Look here. Uh, so hope everyone remembers the question. Listen, listen to me, right? So there, there is a table which has uh, data about sport items, right? Volleyball, tennis ball, uh, badminton records. So they mentioned some of them. Uh, the question is data about one sport item. Okay, data about one sport item. Listen to me carefully. So now imagine that particular table. So if you have this particular table in that shop, Tell me some fields which can be available in that particular table. Tell me three fields or maybe some fields available in this table. I will show this question again. Right, so you can read it out and understand that one. So tell me this table. So hope you, you have this table now. I want some fields, at least three fields in this table. Tell me three fields which can be available in this uh, table. Uh, okay, I take uh, from someone. Dharmiga, Dharmiga. A sports item. Sport item. ID of the item. ID. Mm -hmm. Price. Price, okay, good. So listen to me, you have to think in that way, right? Then only you can answer. So here uh, you have you have data about cricket bat, uh, tennis ball, volleyball, netball. So see, some of you may think that the fields are tennis ball uh, and badminton racket, volleyball. No, they are not fields. So remember, this table has sport details. The sport details or sport data about these tennis balls and other things. So if, if it is a table or when it comes to table, it must be like this. I add three or, okay, three field, okay? It, it can be uh, item ID or sport item ID. There may be a number, right? There may be a number for each uh, sport item. So sport item ID, yes, item name. Okay, you can see as you can see price, okay? So for example, if it is a uh, cricket bat, the name is cricket bat. Item ID, there may be a number, right? There may be a price. Even you can say the uh, count or that stock, right? The amount of bats, that is also possible, right? Another field. So when it comes to netball, the item name netball, maybe there should be another ID given for netball and you have price, right? 
Now listen to that question. Data about one scored item is right. Look at the first row. Look at the first row. What does this first row have? Ah, data about cricket bat. That first right, uh, first row has the data about cricket bat. Look, look here. The number for cricket bat, the name, uh, the price, even number of cricket bats. So that particular row has data about one sport item. Look at the second one. The second row has data about netball. The number for netball, the name, right? Maybe the price and everything. So now that particular row is what? It's right coat. The question is data about one sport item is what? So one sport item should be the data about one sport item should be right coat. Understood? Right. Because I took some time to explain because I think thrice this was asked three times, not once, right? Uh, before 2014 also similar questions were asked. So try understand. Okay. Uh, Right, so answer is uh, record, right? Fourth answer. Look at the second one. A shop that sells clothes has many suppliers. Each supplier can supply several clothing items. Which of the following is most suitable as the primary key in a database table that contains data about clothing items available for sale in the shop? I, I take the question again because since the question is long, sometimes you can't understand properly. So I take it again. A shop that sells clothes has many suppliers. Each supplier can supply several clothing items. Which of the following is most suitable as the primary key, right? Keep an eye on the name primary key in a database table that contains data about clothing item. These two phrases must be given importance, right? So what are the two phrases given importance? This one, primary key, we are in clothing items, right? Clothing item. So now take, take an imagination, right? That may be the best way to answer. So in clothing item table, what could be the primary key? But remember they mentioned one thing, one supplier can supply several items. That is also important for answering here. So tell me what is the answer? What is the answer uh, for this question? Uh, Daranga? Daranga. Item code. Item code. Divya? Item code. Item code. Gayatri? Item code. Okay, item code. Look here, it's too simple. Yes, you can understand that it's item code because we are talking about cloth item table. So imagine in a cloth item table, you have clothes. So every cloth is identified by a special number, by a unique number. So that must be, a, that must be an item code. Have you understood? Imagine that uh, I, I can't draw it again because it takes time. You have the basic, right? So imagine the table uh, which stores the data about clothing item, like the table which I put here, right? I, earlier I put the table for sport item. So there we have item ID, item name like that. So here it's about clothing item table. So here also you have a field like cloth ID, cloth name, maybe price, so like that. So definitely each cloth is identified by a number. That may be the item code. Yes, your, your answer is correct. But what about supply ID? So here supply ID cannot be, you know, price never be the primary key. There is no confusion at all. Even quantity never be. So sometimes you may have some confusions on supplier code. 
because you know when it comes to code or number sometimes we always uh, i mean uh, have some sort of confusions so here you may think that supply code can be the primary key no because in uh, in 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 a in a uh, item table or clothing item table you know one cloth can be supplied so, oh sorry you know one cloth uh, okay one cloth also possible but you know sometimes one supplier can supply many clothes so that look at the phrase each supplier can supply several clothing item so in your table one one second so if it is uh, this is assume this is cloth cloth item id cloth item name this is price so i assume you have supply id here this is possible right supply id is there but one supply id can be repeated by because one supplier assume this is right something like a shirt or something this is t-shirt so this shirt is supplied by this one and also t-shirt also supplied by that according to the description one supplier can supply many items so this single supplier supplies shirts as well as t-shirts now see it has to duplication right so definitely it must be the item code right first chance Okay, so item code is the answer. Last question: Which of the following is correct about relationships in relational databases? So many times we face such questions, right? Correct about relationship. So what's the answer? Rogida, Rogida, right? Rogida. What's the answer? Third answer. third answer third right okay so you know i i take the answer directly relationship is association between two tables don't forget right it is not between two databases or not between two fields or not between two records the link or the connection or association between two tables is relationship right so what is the answer third answer a relationship is an association between two tables okay the others are wrong all right so this is enough this is over so go back and take the 2013 see when you, when we are discussing you can feel uh, or you can i mean get some understanding see almost all the questions are similar they are asked repeatedly right uh, so primary key foreign key number of records number of uh, fields right uh, so they asked about relationship so because you know database which is uh, listed in our syllabus is not in depth so within a small uh, syllabus you know you can't ask many questions so even though you have uh, so many past papers but the questions are very few right they are repeated they are asked in the di different dimensions okay right look here 2013 uh consider the following database table used in a shop where computer parts are sold okay so computer parts details are there in this in this table look at the first one uh okay let's take the uh, fields first part num there part name quantity unit price okay all the details about a part is all the details about a part is saravanan saravanan what's the answer sir record right code let me ask one more uh, jayshan your suggestion You are there, right, Jason? Arti. Record. Record. Look. So look here. Uh, even in the previous year, year also we had the same question, right? Look at this. Have a look at the question. So data about one sport item. 
So where is that spot item? It is in the first record. Questions are same, but the scenarios are different. In the previous year, they, they gave a table which has spot items and asked about the data about one spot item. So you mentioned the answer as record. Now have a look at this table. So here it has parts details, data about one part, right? Look at that first record. I'm highlighting that first record. Have a look at that. What does it have? Huh. This draw has the detail about optical mouse, the number for optical mouse, the name of that, the quantity of that optical mouse, and also price. So data about one part is record. Even in the second record, look here, the data about a uh, flash drive are there. In the third record, data about a uh, DVD drive are there. So don't forget it is record, okay? Answer record. Second, how many fields are in the above table? It's too easy, isn't it, right? These are not questions to be asked in exams. How many fields? You have part number, part name, quantity, unit price. So how many fields? There are four fields, right? How many records are there? Three records. This is one record, second record, third record, right? So here answer is uh, four because the question is about uh, fields, right? So four fields, only two questions uh, are there in 2013. Let's take the 2012. Look. Answer the questions one comma two using the following table segment that stores details about some students of a school. Okay, so this has the data about students. I have a look at the fields, student number there, name there, date of birth there. First question, how many records are stored in the given table segment? You know, records are rows, right? So here you have first row, first row, second record, third record, fourth record. So four records. Okay, number of records are four. How many fields are used to store data in the given table segment? Fields. Columns are fields. So student number is a field, name is another field, date of birth is another field. So you have three fields. Answer is three. What is the most suitable data type for student number? What is the most suitable data type for student number? So this is, uh, the question is about this uh, data, right? Uh, answer, who is it? Kevin, Kevin. Text. Text. Abhinesh. It's a text. 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 Okay, so don't think that they are numbers because look here, there is a letter S there, and also you can see there is a symbol, right? That hyphen also there. So if it is number, it must have only numerical data. But this student number has alphabet, which means letter, right? S, and also symbol. In addition to them, this also has uh, numbers. So it is text, you know, text is a mixture, right? It can have letters, numbers, symbols. So definitely it is text. Uh, the data type for name also text. The data type for date of birth is not a text. It is date. Even you can say date or time. You can add the time also, but even uh, having or mentioning the name date enough. Date or time, okay? But here the question is about student number, so definitely it is text, fourth answer. Look, which of the following is correct regarding the primary key of a database table? So we discussed about primary keys uh, when uh, we discussed or when we revised. So let's take the answer. Angushana. Fourth answer, sir. Fourth answer. Aditya? Fourth one. Fourth. Uh, Abhinesh T. 
Abinesh T. Fourth one. Fourth one. I right, look here. Look, check better. Check the answers. Check the options. The question is correct statement, right? Correct regarding primary key. Primary key can be empty. No, right? Prime primary key field must have data that cannot be uh, null, right? That cannot be null. So def null means empty. So first one is wrong. Primary key must be of numeric data type. No, right. You can't say that the primary key field must be uh, numerical figures, right? Mo Fortunately, most of the fields which we select as primary key have numbers, numerical figures. But you know, text can be right, so it is not correct uh, because they use the phrase "must be," right? Because of that phrase, it is wrong. Primary key must be of text data type. That is also wrong. Primary key can be text data type, right? Primary key can be numerical, but must be of text data type. It is wrong. It can be number, even it can be date. So it is wrong. Primary key must be unique. Yes, that is the answer. Primary key must be unique. At the same time, that must be uh, that must have data, right? Not null. So four times. All right. So let's go back again. Two thousand and eleven. Right, look. Which of the following is correct regarding the primary key in a relational database table? See, you have same question, right? In 2012 and 11, they uh, added the same question. So I take the answer directly. Uh, it must be unique, right? Correct answer. So it must be unique. The others are incorrect. You can check them, right? So I don't want to discuss. Number two. Use the following table containing information about books to answer questions two, two and three. Right, so this has data about books. ISBN number there, title there, author, edition, publisher, price. Okay, take a look at the first question. Select the correct pair of values that represent the number of records and number of fields respectively in the above table. It's too easy, right? Record and uh, field respectively. So first you have to put the record, then field. So how many records are there? This is the first record, second record, third record, fourth record. So four records. How many fields? One, two, three, four, five, six. So four records, six fields. Four comma six. First answer. Right. Second. Which of the following is most suitable as the primary key of the above table? most suitable look uh, title cannot be order cannot be edition also cannot be because you know edition can be uh, sixth edition can be repeated several times publishers also repeated because one publisher can publish many books so oxford university press can be repeated look here it is repeated price name should be repeated so what is the answer this isbn number is not repeated because ISBN number is, is something which is given as unique for every book. International standard book number, that is a number for identifying every book, right? So that is not repeated. So it must be the primary key here, okay? So ISBN number, right? So let's take the 2010 now, 2010. A database includes a table that contains data about students in a school. Data relating to one student in the table is a. I repeat the question again. A database includes a table that contains data about students in a school. Data relating to one student in this table is a. Induja? Record. Record. Sobida? Record. Record. Arabi? Record. Record. Okay. Look, see, we are taking this question uh, for the third time. Right? Do you remember this? 
earlier in one question, right? They put this table, uh, or they didn't put this table, but they expressed that one. And uh, we were asked to find uh, that particular name about one sporting item. Okay, so we mentioned that as record. In another instance, they put a computer parts table and they ask about data about one part, right? So optical mouse uh, DVD writer like that. So we mentioned that as record. We are facing the third time, same thing. So this is about student table. So data about one student. Imagine the student table now. You have a student table, so there may be an admission number, name, date of birth, so on. So look at the first row. In, in a row, there may be an admission number of a person, of, of a student, uh, maybe name, maybe age. So if you take that first row, that is the data about a single student. Have you understood one row? I don't want to draw it, it takes time. It is not important, it is not needed. You, you have that idea. In, in a particular row, data about one student is there. So it must be a record. So same question, but asked in a different dimensions, different scenarios, okay? So answer should be record. Sucker. Which of the following can be used as primary key of a database table in storing data about students? Which of the following can be used as a primary key of a database table in storing data about students? See, sometimes you can't be sure about uh, this answer, right? Because uh, without, without noticing or without considering all the fields, you can't say that it is the primary key. Yes, according to this option, if you take this option, you can say that student admission number is, is, is the primary key. But uh, we can argue that it is it can't be the primary key in some instances because in a, in, a, in a student table, sometimes we may add some irrelevant fields there, uh, like a subject number or maybe marks. So if you add such thing, definitely student number is repeated. So it may not be an appropriate question to be asked in an examination, uh, importantly in, in a final examination, but still we can, we can give that answer, right? So answer student admission number. The others are not because they definitely have uh, duplications. Okay, so four times. Third question. Consider the, sorry, consider the following statements about relational databases. A, a relationship is an association between two or more databases. B, the types of relationships in a relational database include one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-many. C, a relational database can consist of multiple tables. We discussed these things. You should be very careful because when you have these questions like this, you must be very, very good in all these answers. Even if you have doubt on one option, you out, you cannot pick the right answer. So you must be very careful. So what is the answer? Uh, who is it? Dilanga? What is it? What's the answer? Dilanga? B and C. A and C. Harani? B, sir, B and C. B and C. Harani? B and C. What is it? Harani. Niroshiga. BNC. BNC. Okay, let's check it. A relationship is an association between two or more databases. No. I again and again, I, I, I mean, focus on that relationship is, is an association, association between two tables, not two databases. Okay, so that is wrong. Okay, so it is not the connection between two databases. It is the connection between two tables. So first one is wrong. The types of relationships in a relational database include one to one, one to many, many to many, that is correct. 
So you have only three types of data, so relationships, one to one, one to many, many to many. C, a relational database can consist of multiple tables, yes, right? So you know that connection, right? We have a chain. Collection of fields is a record. Collection of records is a table. Collection of tables is a database. Even you can say relational database, okay? So C also right, B and C. Third answer, B and C. Right, 2009. A database that contains tables linked by a common field is called. So you have tables with common fields. You have seen so many tables like that. So the database which have or which has that particular tables should be called relational database because those tables have relationship. They, they may have one to one or one to many or many to many. So since tables have some sort of connections, the database itself is called relational database. Okay. Uh, sometimes called relational database management system, relational database management system or relational database. Fourth answer. Second, the memo field of a table in a database is used to store. You know, uh, it is about uh, a particular database management system software like Access or whatever. Uh, in, a, in a table, we have, we have data types. In fact, we have five common database, data types. We have five common data types, numbers, text, date or time, currency, Boolean. These are the five data types, commonly used data types. But when it comes to uh, relational database software, there may be more than five data types. In particular, if you take access, there are so many data types. In fact, more than 10 data types are available like auto number, OLE object, look of wizard, Right, uh, there may be many auto numbers, so there are many. Uh, but we have common common data types as five. Look, text is for text, which means letters, numbers, right, uh, symbols. So there is text. But when a field has text as lengthy, it would be better to select uh, another data type called memo. But I think in the in the present or in the new versions of database management system that is named as uh, long text, right? Maybe in the older versions of uh, Microsoft Microsoft Access, you can find that data type in the name of memo. But that same memo is named as uh, long text nowadays. Even if you take the latest versions of Access, you can see that, right? So memo is same as long text. So if it is text, it must be, it must have a restriction. You cannot add lengthy text for text, maybe for your name, address, right? Such things are okay. But if you have a field which needs so many letters inside, then don't use text. You can't use text. Like a field that you have, uh, see, see in a student table, see there is a, there is a field called achievement. Imagine you have a student table and that table has a field called achievement. So sometimes if a student achieved a lot, you need to write a big paragraph there, which may have thousands of letters. In that case, you cannot use text. So that is called lengthy text. You have a text which has so many characters, right? So that is lengthy text. In this case, memo is the option. But nowadays memo is called uh, long text. Okay, so here answer is memo. So, so sorry, the question is memo. So the answer is lengthy text. Okay, lengthy text first answer. Third one, what is the part of a table in a database that contains one specific type of data? I also explained this one. I gave some importance for this one when I revised. What is the part of a table in a database 
that contains one specific type of data what's the answer who is it uh, tajani field 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 uh, okay let's uh, discuss so the question is what is the part of a table in a database that contains one specific type of data look here even i can take this for an example in this table you know if you take a field that should have one specific type of data look here if it is item id according to this example all these data in item id belong to one specific data type what is it number i am talking about this table right here it's is number you can't say now number and text are mixed because you have a uniformity there so even if it is item name all the data which are included in item name must be a specific data type that is text right look here price all the data related to price should be currency so the question is about that the which part of the table has specific data type one specific data type the answer is field right field but if it is a record i explained this earlier too but i take again but if i take a record that has data which belong to several data types take a look at the second record in a second record you have four data item id item name price supply id look here this is number this is text this is currency this is number so this record has various types of data but if you take a field like item id see you have two data both of them must be specific data type okay so this is important remember that point all right so answer is field we have one more question let's uh, discuss quickly one more year right one more year 2018 sorry 8 the general term that describes a collection of programs that facilitate storing manipulating maintaining and utilizing the data the software name which is used for storing the data managing utilizing utilizing that must be dbms database management system but here they mention like database management software everything is same database management system example access oracle right uh, mysql so base these are things second an owner of a bookshop stores the details of books in a database for easy reference a table in this database Right, look, uh, an owner of a bookshop stores the details of books in a database for easy reference. A table in this database has field named price. Uh, sorry, has a field named price, which contains the price of each book. Each book. In which order should we sort the table using price to organize the data from the most expensive to cheapest? this the description is too long but the question is too simple they want to arrange the price in order from most expensive to least expensive so what is it it is descending order so ascending means from least to most right but it is opposite so descending orders second answer last question the particular field of a table that uniquely identifies a record is the the particular field of a table that uniquely identifies a record is the uh, you can't say main field that is not the term uh, even there is no field called there is no name called primary field you have primary key that is okay but you can't say primary field right uh, we don't study we didn't study anything like that even there is nothing in the name of primary field if it is primary key yes that's the answer but primary field is not 
alternate field no so what is the answer it is key field right key field can be primary key field have you understood so don't think that it is primary field because primary primary is there but it is uh, having the name primary doesn't mean it's primary key right so here the most appropriate answer is key field primary key fields can be called key fields okay so first answer is the correct answer all right so these are the mcq questions we took enough time we took uh, two days right two complete days to discuss so while we were discussing we we touched the backgrounds and everything so hope this these are very useful try uh, i mean uh, make try to make use of the uh, make use of those things okay so from the next class we can start the second part too so this is enough for today we will meet in the next class okay thank you